Yeah, when we made a call to the National Weather Service yesterday, they said, I think we're going to have to send some folks out to survey some of this damage around Northern California. That particular storm was from a downburst wind from a weakening thunderstorm in Lincoln around 1 p.m. Also brought down some trees as well. We also had two confirmed tornadoes. Yeah, one around El Dorado Hills and Placerville at 345 and then earlier in the afternoon near Oroville and Concow around 2 p.m. So a very active weather day. If you have great weather photos like those, upload them on the ABC 10 app. Love to see those. As far our weather forecast as we head through tomorrow. We are looking at generally uh, nice conditions. A little bit of patchy fog, then highs right around 60, 47 degrees up top for the Sierra. Highs for today, low to mid 60s after we cleared out of that fog. It was a gorgeous afternoon and oh my goodness, does that color look so brilliant against that blue sky right now? Notice that on a walk today. 50s for the foothills and 40s up top for the Sierra after a complete dumping of snow yesterday. Donner Summit, 27 inches. 26 for Soda Springs and Homewood. Squaw Valley and Alpine Meadows, both with 23 inches. And some of those ski resorts are opening. Call ahead. Make sure you can get up there on the slopes. They are limited in capacity due to COVID concerns. I will say that. As far as our water year, we're still running about an inch and a half to almost two inches behind where we should be this time of year. But it was nice to get some of that rain coming in. Gilmore Backyard for tonight. Clear skies. Temperatures in the 50s. 33 degrees there for Tahoe. And we will continue to see some pretty nice weather here. As far as the storm track, it's just kind of bumping up a bit to the north. What's going to happen though? We get a low driving its way southward through the weekend. It will give us some variable weather, but dry. The main concern that I'm seeing here for the weekend is areas of patchy frost. So if you protected those plants and had an opportunity to bring in your pets over the last time we saw some patchy frost and even some freezing conditions, Get ready. We see some more for the weekend. Highs near 45 for the Tahoe Basin tomorrow. We're closer to about the upper 50s to low 60s for the foothills. Our five day forecast. We're going to keep things fairly dry here. We'll see a slight chance of a shower coming through on Monday, but things are trending drier and drier as we dig deeper into the forecast. 60s, almost 70 along the coast for tomorrow again. We'll start it off with areas of cloud cover for the northern San Joaquin Valley, then partial afternoon clearing. Mix of sun and clouds locally for the valley, but as I show you the 10 day forecast you're going to see some of those overnight lows especially Saturday Sunday and Monday we're in the 30s so patchy frost possible you'll also see we're not expecting rain for Thanksgiving